And I'm Amber, and today's a day two. So today we're going to be talking about a hot trend that we see a lot around the world. Tattooing has been a fad for a long time now, and, it is popular, and its popularity is continuing to grow. Fun fact, nearly 4 in 10 millennials ages 18 to 29 have a tattoo. Half of those have 2 to 5 tattoos, and one of them is me, which you'll see later. When we come back after news and announcements, we're going to talk about the safety hazards of getting a tattoo and what it is like to get a tattoo. Today, President Donald Trump is to propose a 21% cut in foreign aid and slashing of social safety net programs in his $4.8 trillion budget proposal for fiscal 2021. The budget will seek an increase in funds to counter developing economic threats from China and Russia and will also, be, and will also raise funds by targeting $2 trillion in savings for mandatory spending programs in the United States. The White House proposes to slash spending by $4.4 trillion over 10 years. That includes $130 billion from changes to Medicare prescription drug pricing, $292 billion from cuts in safety net programs, such as work requirements for Medicaid and food stamps, and $70 billion from tightening rules for federal disability benefits. Administration officials said Trump would also request an, an increase in funding for the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation to $700 million, compared to the $150 million the previous year. That's a lot of dollars. The film Parasite... The film Parasite took stage last night as the Academy Awards, taking home the award for Best Picture. Parasite is the first non-English film to be nominated for Best Picture. Movies such as 1917 and Once Upon a Time were considered major competition for the film. Nancy Wang Yen, a, socio a sociologist, told CNN earning Best Picture could open up opportunities for Asian American actors who have a difficult time getting their work recognized on the awards circuit. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys lacrosse signups are Tuesday, February 11th at 3.25 p.m. in the Career Center. All boys in grades 9 through 12 who plan to try out for lacrosse this spring should plan to attend. So tattoos are permanent markings that have symbolized love, religious signs, tributes, mem memories, and amulets. Tattoos hold a lot of great value in meetings than just ink. People get tattoos for constant reminders of good things in their lives or symbols that represent themselves. It's a sense of self-expression and allows for culture in workplaces. Of course, with every good side of things, there's a bad one as well. Like if someone close to you has, men has mentioned how you'll never get a job due to your tattoos being exposed or how they are permanent and you won't like them when you are older. I mean, in a way they are right. Tattoos can limit career paths, and even Maybe. if it is not true, gives us a, gives off a sense of ignorance to some businesses. Mm. Not to mention that some tattoos can lead to infections, whether it is dirty needles and unsanitary environments that can cause HIV and skin infections, or if it's from ink and dyes migrating into your lymph nodes, I'm sorry. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, the allergic response can occur immediately, weeks later, and surprisingly even years and decades later. According to CNN, Australian doctors were treating a woman for a type of cancer called lymphoma. She had, her, she had lumps under her arms as well as an enlarged lymph node near her, the roots of her lungs, all classic signs of the cancer. But when they put those nodes under a microscope, they found out that it was black tattoo ink that was placed there 15 years ago. She didn't have cancer. Her immune system was just finally reacting to the tattoo that she had on her back. Good morning. Today we're going to have a high of 39 degrees with snow and rain showers. S tomorrow we will also have rain and snow showers with a high of 40 degrees. Wednesday will cool down to 35 with rain and, clear and the rain will clear up. Thursday will go back to rain and snow with a high of 37. On Friday the temperature will drop to 12 degrees and have some mild snow showers. Saturday will warm up to 27 and Sunday will warm up to 38. I'm Emily with your weather. So there are obviously a ton of questions that people have getting a tattoo. So I am going to answer some from Amber, which are some pretty basic questions. I did get a tattoo. All right. First, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad did it hurt? Not even a little. 
I mean, I got it in the easiest place to get it. I got it right here. Um, that's one of the easiest places. Um, but honestly, it went in, and I was like, that's it. Like, the scariest part is watching them prep for it and get all the needles ready, because that's, like, the most intimidating. And there's my tattoo. Uh, it took two hours to do, and the most painful part was the green shading. That was so difficult to do, I'm not even going to express how bad it hurt. Uh, and what are the best spots to get a tattoo, like least painful? Yeah, so the best parts to get a tattoo are your arms, for sure, because, um, I, I don't know, it's just easiest. The hardest place to get a tattoo are the back of your knees and your foot, feet, like the bottom of your feet, which I don't oh, know, I don't know I, why you'd want to get a tattoo on the bottom I, of your foot. I don't judge. Um, or, <laughs> or like your face or your ears. There are people who get tattoos mm. in their ears, so... That's interesting. Okay. And uh, what is the healing process like so far? Painful. Oh. It's, the <laughs> healing process is more painful than getting it. I can promise you that. It feels like right now it feels like a very bad sunburn. Mm. And like there's no way to fix it. It just is kind of like just pain. No matter how many aspirins I take, no matter what, it just it's painful. And then finally, what are some misconceptions about tattoos? Um, honestly, I think a big misconception is that it, is that like, it's scary. Like, it's really not that scary. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person who I can't get a shot at the doctors. Like, I get nervous, like when oh, they do, geez. like the flu shot or something. So that gets me nervous, but I could do a tattoo fine. So oh. it, it's weird and people, ha everybody yeah. has different pain tolerances. So it's interesting how people, how it affects different people, but Tom. Um, we're going to go on to sports now. The boys bowling team finished their season yesterday with sectionals. It was a great season for the boys. Uh, good luck to Chris Bailey and Tyler Tellerico who will attend the shootouts on Thursday. America Carhartt will also be attending the shootouts for the girls team. The girls basketball team beat Carthage on Saturday 44-27, earning their eighth win of the season and qualifying for the Class A sectional playoffs for the first time since the 2014-2015 season. Riley King is the Class A sectional champion in the 55 meter with a PR of 7.77. Nick Berg is the Class A sectional champion in the 100 meter with a time of 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Rocky L is a Class A sectional champ in the triple jump, and Kevin Hasty is a Class A sectional champ in the weight throw. Congratulations. The varsity wrestling team had a tournament over the weekend. Alex Leo placed second, and Andrew Crone placed third. Both of them, along with Connor Todd, will be moving on to sectionals. Syracuse basketball defeated Wake Forest on Saturday 75 to 73. Buddy Beheim led the team in points with 23, and Elijah Hughes led the team in rebounds with eight. I'm David with your sports. So we hope that you enjoyed today's show. I know we had a super fun time putting this show together and learning about the effects of tattoos. Definitely. But that is all the time that Amber and I have for you today. So from everybody here at Spartan News, have a fantastic day.